all you heroes and ghouls out there, and welcome to another episode of Hell Yeah Gaming Plays Don Gone Run Pa! We are in the final chapter, the final investigation, delving deep into the final details to learn everything that has happened! <laughs> yes, we're going to the murder bear door. Okay, so I guess I'll open it. Let's hope it doesn't explode, right? Yeah. Oh wait, let me take cover first. I'm already exploded. <laughs> Anna raced over to a nearby desk and hid underneath it. Okay, go ahead. <sighs> Everything will be okay, right? Alright, here goes nothing! I threw all my weight into it, but the door opened much easier than I expected. <laughs> Just burst in. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. There was no explosion, thankfully. My first impression was... Huh? This place is totally sci-fi. Yeah, I was kind of thinking the same thing. Alright, yeah, this looks like a Monokuma control center to me. What is this device? It looks like some kind of control panel. Which is why they can't mm. fuck with us and my Monokuma at the same time. Yeah, it's, they're not even in the same rooms. Nope. It's really over the top, though. Like some kind of military installation or something. Yeah, it kind of looks like a, a mech cockpit, right? Hikumi would probably freak out if he saw it. <laughs> Cruel Angel's thesis, go! Yeah, right. <laughs> cockpit? So the Monokuma room has a control panel that looks like some kind of cockpit? Then could that mean... Okay. Alright, let's start poking around at it, Weber. I'm gonna start pushing buttons. Oh, hold on! You can't just, or whatever, something like this! Yep. But it was too late. He Hina's gung-ho. <laughs> Hina was already jabbing away at the control panel. Huh? Did you hear that? Yeah, I think it came from the other room. Hina, what did you push? <laughs> I'm not totally sure, but I think it was that one. The button that says data center? Data center? I took a good look at the control panel, and I saw a bunch of buttons, each with the name of a room next to it. And just like Hina said, there was one labeled data center. That must be the one she pushed. There's the robot behind us, I'm betting. Yeah. But the data center, that's right next door. The room we were just in, that's where the strange noise came from. I'd probably better go check it out. Yeah. Yes, please. I'm, I'm kind of scared out of my mind right now, so I'll just cheer you up from over here. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, let, well, yeah, let's, let's look uh, at everything we can in here before we check that out, though. Pushing the button here made a sound in the other room. I heard the strange noise from the room we just came from. Cool. Uh, ooh. ooh. Ah. Is that like a vent or something? There's some kind of hatch on the floor. But right now I need to go check out the dead. Oh, okay, come. Okay. Right us, so. Making us go. Fine, fine. We get it, game. Did I just hear what I think I heard? Hmm. Is that Monokuma? <laughs> cool. <laughs> and with nobody to talk on the other side, it's just standing yeah. there. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Give me all your donuts! <laughs> well, we know who's yep, on. <laughs> Is that you, Hina? Aw oh, man, Buster, how did you know? Uh, I don't know. Who would say? Who would give their opening line? Give me all your donuts. Anyway, what is this? Some kind of remote control camera kind of stuff? You don't even know what you're controlling. Well, I mean, I can't really see anything from in here. Found it. Well, I guess what I found—a self-destruct button. Whatever you do, don't push it. Aw oh, man. Were you seriously gonna push it? Anyway, I guess that settles it. The room with the Monokuma drawing on it and the control panel inside. Yeah! Victory! Thy name is Jeff! I guessed right. And it was not a sex dungeon. Though I'm willing to bet that there's probably still fap sauce if we look hard enough with the black light. <laughs> fap sauce? Oh, hey, Makoto, what the heck was, was that just now? Monokuma. What you were controlling just now. It was Monokuma. Huh? Monokuma? What for real? 
Yep, it looks like that panel definitely controls Monokuma, which means the Mastermind has been controlling Monokuma from this room. And since we know the Mastermind controls him from in here, mm -hmm. and there's only the two of us... Yep. Kina. <laughs> uh, oh god. The hatch that we're standing on is probably where they're hiding right now. And probably. We're... Yeah, they were definitely in here. The Mastermind has been controlling Monokuma from this room. And this control room is totally separate from the data center with area with all the monitors. In other words, hey. yep, yep, yeah, can't monitor exactly. and control. Yet again, we're ahead of the game. <laughs> Kyoko's theory was right. But, but if the master has been controlling Monokuma from here, that means they would have been inside the school this whole time, right? I guess that would have to be true. But if that is true. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, again, just saying that only 16 students have been here the whole time. Then the mastermind, Monokuma's puppeteer, really is the 16th student? Hmm, no, it can't be. There's no way, right? There is a way. Absolutely a way. Monokuma control room. Nice! Um, what's wrong, Makoto? I don't like that face you're making. Oh, no, it's nothing. Oh, okay. What about you? Is everything okay? Oh, wow. Well, it's just... I haven't had a donut in like five minutes and I'm, I'm my hands are starting to shake. This is where the mastermind's been hiding, right? Who knows if they set up traps or something? I can't say it isn't possible, but I really hope it's not true. Um, so like... I don't think so. There's still lots of other places to check out. No! No! Check out the hatch! The hatch we're standing on! Open it! Yeah, good point. We can't waste all our time standing around here. Open the hatch! Okay, you want to get going? Yeah. No! no open the hatch! Um, no! Uh, no! How dare you! Uh, How dare uh, you! Uh, How dare you! How dare you! You couldn't just say it's locked? Uh, Click. As soon as the door to the data center was closed, I heard a strange sound. What was that? Oh, the door it just locked on its own. What? My hand shot out to grab the doorknob. You're right, it's locked. But why? Yeah. <laughs> of course it's locked, because the data center is not restricted. Monokuma! Oh, yeah, yep. you're right. That's why. Yep, they're hiding in the hatch the whole time, waiting for us to leave. Hey, so there, you stay more restricting whatever you feel like. It gave us access, just like promised. Mm -hmm. We investigated, and now it's closed. Yep. It's for your benefit. Because if that room stays up, then I won't be able to move around. Imagine how depressed I will get if the school mascot just up and stop moving. Then that room... Yep. As you may have guessed, that's where my controls are. Um... So right now you're being operated by someone in that room? Correct, Mundo. Oh, you just played into our hands, dude. <laughs> we might not be able to investigate that half, but you just proved a bunch of other shit. Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah. You're a liar. But I don't like the way it railroaded us from being able to even check Look it out. It. Well, it doesn't make any sense. We were just in there. We didn't see anyone. <laughs> oh, you didn't, did you? <laughs> Are you sure you were as thorough as you could have been? I tried yeah. to be. Did you happen to check a certain suspicious hatch? No way! The hatch on the floor? Yeah, the hatch that we couldn't check because Hina said, Oh wait, no, you, go check outside. Or, nah, now, it, now we can just leave. <laughs> Too bad, that was your one big chance and you blew it. Too bad. Of course, that hatch can be open from the outside anyway, so whatever. Then why didn't you just say that? Why did we, we check it and it's like, Seems like the hatch is sealed. I can't open it. I know, right? That would have been so much easier and not as infuriating. Yep. Well, now that the room is officially restricted, so no more investigating. Well, I guess he does kind of help us out because if it's locked and nobody else can investigate it, we know it's nobody else. Yeah, we yeah we know that absolutely it can't be any of the six of us running around. Yep. So thank you, Monokuma. 
But again, they're at a point where they're getting desperate and they're not thinking ahead, so you know. Mm, probably getting cornered and whatnot. I'll be relying on you to tell. You guys tell the others. Yeah. <laughs> Peace! Um, He's gone, but so, um, was he telling the truth? The master on is hiding in there? In fact, if you think back to when we got locked out of the control room, that proves it for sure. Huh? Then when I said we should leave... Well, that hatch couldn't be opened from the outside anyway, right? So it's not your fault. Yes, it is! It's at least partly your fault. Okay. Anyway, we don't have to let it get to us. We have to stay positive and make the most of the time we have left. You're right. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's keeping my body moving. Okay, okay I'm gonna run around and tell everyone what we found here. Nice, you got me all motivated again. You're not exactly difficult to motivate, Hina. Right. Okay, I'm out. See you later. Hina took off at a full sprint. And I have to do what I can, too. That's the only way forward. And we have the principal's office, I think? Yeah, the, the headmaster's room in the, on this floor as well. Mm. Yeah, no nope, music be. hall. Okay, okay. Yeah, just, yeah, just, pull yeah. out or, just pull out the map. Is it to all that? Is it to it now? Oh, that's just A office. It's not yeah. the headmaster's Oh, yeah, that's office. the one with the, uh, the mm -hmm. weird plants. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, the one. weird weirdo plants. And uh, those those realistic portraits up there. Yeah, yeah I think that's it. Yeah. Headmaster! There we go. Where uh, the room that Sakura busted open, letting Kyoko inside. Yep. Ah, Byakuya's here. This is the headmaster's room. I've heard an awful lot about it, but this'll be my first time seeing it for myself. Hmm. Ah, Makoto, it's you. Oh, Byakuya! Well, we're going to investigate everything for Dr. Yu, so screw off. <laughs> yeah! So you, so you don't pull a Hina on us. Oh yeah, and he's more likely to go like, go like, what are you doing here? I'm investigating, go away. Right? <laughs> there are documents scattered all over the floor. Somehow it makes me feel anxious. Understandable. Come on. Hey, Makoto. Oh, see, I call that shit. <laughs> yeah? Are you ignoring me? You think I'll forgive that just because you're you? When you get out of here, remember this moment. Okay, well, guess we gotta talk to you before we look at the, the blue notebook. Even in the headmaster's room, there's a monitor. There are trophies and even a shield in the display case. Cool, cool. Oh... The bookshelf seems really mel made. Really mel made? I, I swear I can English. And it's filled with files and thick books. What about uh, thick files and books? Is that it? Um, um, yeah, camera. No more nice coins? Yeah. Okay. I, well, the nice coins are used to get the That'd gifts, but we don't have. I, I, I don't think we're going to have any free time to do gifts anymore. That's right. Well, you came to the right place this time. Would you like to see something interesting? Reaction! What do you mean, something interesting? <laughs> well, you see, all you have to do is unzip my pants. <laughs> Take a look at this. It was on top of that pathetic, pathetically ostentatious desk. Student roster. Class 78, student registry? <laughs> That's uh, that's where Kyoko got the mm -hmm. Mukuro's file. Yep. It contains profiles for all of us and Mukuro. So Apparently, words. class number 78 refers to us. Wait, when we found Mukuro's profile in Kyoko's room... Mm -hmm, that's right. It also mentioned class 78. This must be where Kyoko got that page. Which we already knew, mm -hmm. uh, along with the skeleton key. And since the rest of our profiles are listed in there along with hers, in other words, there can be no doubt Mukuro was a student here at Hope's Peak Academy, just like the rest of us. Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student... Who was hiding in Monokuma's room. Mm. Yeah. Uh, that must be how Kyoko learned about it. No, because Mukuro is dead, for sure. No. That, that is Mukuro's body, proven with the tattoo and everything else. 
uh, didn't we come to the conclusion that Mukuro and Junko were the same person? I think that was a theory. Well, yeah. That wasn't really proven. Well, but, well she, regardless, like... That's fair. I mean, even at that point in the trial, Monokuma well, said okay, so it was. Well, basically, okay, so what mastermind is that person, anyway? Yeah. But it seems that Kyoko was in a hurry. Huh? What do you mean? I'm talking about when she stole it. Yeah. The uneven tearing, the way the paper had been crumpled, she must have been in a hurry. Because, you know, when you're in a restricted area, you like to just kind of take your time. Yeah, I know, right? Well, since she snuck in to get it, I'm sure she wanted to get out as fast as possible. But what's your point? Well, look at my hair. It all comes down in points. She was in so much of a hurry that she only got the first page. The first page? Correct. Mukuro's profile actually contains two pages. Well, that doesn't sound very ultimate detective-y. Right. What? So, in other words... When it comes to this profile, there was more information about Mukuro that we still didn't have. Reaction! What kind of information is it? Why do you ask me to explain every little thing? You can read, can't you? I assume that public school at least meets that level. It seems to be some sort of detailed report put together by the headmaster himself. I don't know what kind of a man he was, but I'm glad he left us such an interesting clue. I was half listening to Byakuya as I skimmed through the report. Mukuro reappeared suddenly, and in the background, an, an entity floats, close, ju but just out of reach. The entity known as the Ultimate Despair. Right now, I can't be sure if this is a single person or some kind of group. Whatever it is, Mukuro definitely has some sort of connection to it. I have a bad feeling about all of this. I need to push forward with my research into the ultimate despair. And I need to pay attention to Mukuro's behavior, too. This is just my gut feeling, but I think she's dangerous. Oh, you think the ultimate soldier might be dangerous? Mm -hmm. Despite the countless battles she must have gone through as a member of Fenrir, when she entered Hope's Peak, she didn't display any signs of battle wounds or scars. Mm. Which means that the, all the, the injuries on her body couldn't have come from before uh, mm -hmm. the killing game. Well, we still don't know if the tattoo was real or fake. We just saw it on her hand and it was obscured. Might maybe makeup, maybe it could have been like a, a fake. Like, we don't know. I think, I, I think it's pretty confirmed that that is Mukuro's body. Okay. Monokuma straight up said, like, he very rarely just straight up lies. That's fair. That alone, that fact alone proves her tremendous skill in battle. Naturally, I want to believe in her. She's one of my students, after all. But if I decide she's a danger to the other students, I will be forced to take all reasonable measures. Mukuro was a part of the ultimate despair. I don't think there can be any doubt about it now. But wouldn't that mean Mukuro and the Mastermind were allies? So why? Why would they kill Mukuro? It was an accident. Ah, your whole thing's ultimate despair. That's fair. What, what would generate more despair than, tur than uh, turning on your close ally? Plus, even the headmaster seemed to be afraid of what Mukuro was capable of. They would have had to take her completely by surprise to kill her like that. Or, maybe it means the mastermind is even stronger than Mukuro was. What? Like, DBZ style. Ah! What's wrong, Makoto? Huh? You seem to be lost in thought. But I should probably point out one other thing. There's another important bit of information within that file you should note. Well, what is it? Did you notice the picture in there? A picture of a girl perhaps you've never seen before. A girl who seems to be included as part of our class number 78. That should be enough for you to figure out who the girl is. 
and further information about that girl is included in the file. 5 foot 7 inches, 97 pounds, and it even lists her vitals, 31, 22, 32. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, hold on. Ah, do I have a, a pen anywhere? Yes, thank you. Okay, hold on. We're gonna check our report cards mm -hmm. and look at everybody's yep. information. We're get we're getting deep into this now. Yep. Five foot seven inches. Ninety-seven pounds. Ninety-seven libs. Thirty-one dash twenty-two dash thirty-two. Thirty-two. That calls to be a combination upstairs. Mm, maybe. Okay. Well, what do you think? What do I think? Are you asking me, like, if she has a nice body? Dumbass. <laughs> you hopeless idiot. What I'm trying to tell you is maybe you'll want to keep that in mind for later. Maybe you'll make your way back to the corpse, and maybe you'll think, oh, could that mean? Wait, is he trying to say... There's a chance the body isn't actually Mukuro? Uh-huh. Is that what he's saying? Hmm. Personally, what I'm thinking seems all but impossible, but it wouldn't hurt to confirm, right? It's all clear now. That's all I was trying to say. What you do with that information is your business. So I'm back to being Byaki as Aaron Boy. Yep. Nice! Profile added to the truth bullets. Hmm. Oh, and one last thing. It's a bit of advice from me to you, so I suggest you pay attention. Oh, is that being useful? If you can pay attention, I don't know if, if, if you poor people can do so. Advice? For me? You seem to be getting along with Kyoko quite well. It's not that we're getting along, she's just done a lot to help me. I feel like that's getting along. Yeah. Well, don't put too much faith in her. Huh? In other words, the cost of that faith might be more than you can afford. What are you saying? Just what I think. Call it a hunch. A hunch? But my hunches tend to be proven right. The advice is free this time. Take it or don't, as you will. I'll keep it in mind. Thanks. Okay. Mm. Alright, so pull up those report cards! Yeah! Okay. Uh, pounds. Yep. Ooh. I called it. That actually is Dunko, and that tattoo what? is probably fake. What? No, that proved the exact opposite. What are you talking about? What do you mean it proves the exact opposite? The student registry said that. Mukuro Ikusaba's height, weight measurements ah, were that. Okay. It pr literally proves the exact opposite. All right. That is Mukuro. Which means Junko is the real, a real mastermind. Assuming she does exist, con but considering that she's a world famous supermodel, I would have to say that she does. Yeah. And. Remembering, again, the thing from before, the first time we spoke to Junko, we're like, you look a little different from your magazine covers. Yeah, <laughs> Photoshop. Photoshop, you know. Yep. Okay, so let's go back to the body place. <clears throat> the morgue? Yeah, the morgue. See if we can examine the morgue anymore? Yep. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's in uh yeah the another. Ah. <laughs> Still can't get the hang of the controls. Control room. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we we we, we got to go up another garden dojo. Do 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 do. There we go. Bio lab right there. Assuming we can access anything here yet. Because we still have the second floor dorms to go to. Mm, yeah. Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't know that we can, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. we, we, we still can't access these in any way. 
Okay. Uh, so the way to get to the second floor dorms wasn't on the second floor. It's in the dorms of the first floor, and then there was stairs there. We've never been there before, so... Because there was a gate! Yep. Okay, so... So... This way... bloop a doop Dormitory, yeah! Alright. Then, yeah, straight, straight ahead, and then take a right before we get into the red hall. Oh, yeah. And... Yeah! The gate's gone! Woo! Woo! No more gatekeeping! Woo! The gate's open! We can finally check out the second floor of the dorms! Which means... I have to do it! Alright, who else are we getting? We haven't run into Hero yet. This is the second floor of the dorms? It looks like some ancient ruins! Or no, it's more like a battlefield. Like a bomb blew up here or something. Ugh. That's rough. Yeah, that's rough, buddy. It looks like there's only one place we need to go. Uh, two. Uh, well, I, no, there's, I mean, there, this is... Well, two. One, two, three, connected, ah. four, and then the bathrooms, too. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's so funny watching you flounder like Fuck this. Off. No! Yeah. You love me. No, Aurora does. You still love me. No, there's a uh, you you of all people know the multiple forms of love. Yes. Okay. Check out this place. The bed is completely torn apart. I'm more concerned with the blood stains. I mean, it's not even really a bed anymore. It's just garbage. Oh, we are getting nice coins still. Nice. That's interesting. Can I look the papers on the. Uh, no. Uh... Bullshit. Oh, we can't even look at the desk drawers or anything. I opened the door just a crack, glanced inside, and immediately closed it again. There wasn't even a hint of a bathroom, just a big pile of rubble. Cool. Is its name Barney? <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, I guess that would be it. Okay, I guess we're leaving. Bye. Bye! <laughs> nice little nothing. Yep. Oh well. Bathroom! We're gonna explore. This is the girls' bathroom, even in a place. Really? Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my God! Your mo your sense of modesty is far too restraining. Okay. Any? Oh, I guess there's nothing in here to check. Yes, R. Not escape. Ah. Oh well. Well, giraffe sticking out of a locker. <laughs> nice. Interesting. This room is filled with lockers. Wait, you think it might be a locker room? It must have been for the Hope's Peak students who came before us. The class before ours must have used these lockers. Why did you... Hmm. It's weird. I wonder if I can open this locker. Rattle, rattle. Nope, locked. There's a card reader installed on the door. Find a fucking card. This must be how you get the locker open. After all... It's pretty similar to the card readers for the locker rooms on the second floor of the school. And you have to use one of your e-handbooks to open those up. So does that mean... Well, let's just give it a try. I took out my handbook and ran it across the card reader. And then... Blah. No luck. Maybe only the locker's owner can open it. Which means none of us can do it. Oh, we have soccer to break that open. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn! So we can just look at every single individual locker? This locker's already broken. I wonder if I can... Oh, okay, nope, nope. Okay, just skip on through. Yeah, I don't care. Just get a bit up, up. Just keep... Yeah, just keep... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Alright. Okay. Over here. Just all of these individual lockers. I can't even imagine any way of getting it open. Alright, I guess we gotta come back with, like, some sort of... Uh, Key card? Uh, yeah, a well, other handbook or something. Can't imagine any way to get it open. <laughs> okay. We de this is absolutely a comeback later room when you yeah. have the proper key. Card reader. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, we're out of here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Wonder where we're gonna get what we need for that. Dunk, 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 dunk. He's got some heavy ass footsteps. Oh, 
Makoto, geez. You don't have to stomp everywhere. Keep your lungs, I'm getting, guessing. This room doesn't really feel like a student's room. It has a more adult atmosphere. Correct. It is the headmaster's private room. Kyoko! Indeed. I've been, I've been through this room several times already, but I still have one little regret. So I decided to check it out one more time. Huh? A regret? Okay. Well, she she already said that she was thoroughly exploring the second floor dorms when she had the skeleton key, so... Kyoko looks almost meek right now. She must be thinking about something. I probably shouldn't bother her. Alright, time to explore until she's ready to talk to us. The desk is home to a computer. It must have belonged to the headmaster. Nice! Say, we got the 69 number! Nice! Oh, well, that's very clearly a false wall. Huh? Uh, is it design, some kind of design mistake or a construction defect or something? D d d Makoto. So, there's a gap here, but not just any normal gap. I can feel a breeze coming out. A breeze? Indeed. There's likely an open space on the other side of this wall. Open space? Does that mean... You mean, like, a hidden room? I think I might know how to open it. REACTION! You know how to open it. Did you figure out some kind of trick or something? Indeed. Very easy trick, yes. So easy, I'm not sure you can even call it a trick. I saw a program on that PC that I think controls it. Enter the right password and the door should open right up. However... But I don't have a clue what that password might be. All I know is it's probably made up of letters and or numbers. You can't really go from there. You're right. That's not nearly enough to go on. It's true. I looked through all this paperwork, all the files on this PC, everything I could think of. I learned more about him than I had any desire to, but nothing that might have been his password. <sighs> when I think of how much time I wasted on this... <sighs> okay... So we have to figure out the password for the computer to open up the secret door. Yep. Interesting. Man, there is a lot in one tiny area to look at. A leather chair. I can't imagine a student using something like this. It must have been the headmaster's. Considering we were just told this was his private room, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Um, I guess the the the, 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 the monitor. There, yeah. There's a PC on the desk. Okay. Well, then what else? Oh, oh. Okay. Whoever used this last, it looks like they were very interested in the ultimate despair. Oh, the file upstairs. Yeah. The PC still has some research, some search results left on it. Then we might be able to get some info, some info on the ultimate despair. However, there's not much though. Nothing we don't already know. In other words, the ultimate despair isn't one individual, but instead it points points to some kind of group. That group is responsible for the tragedy which happened one year happened one year ago. They're the worst sorts of people whose driving force comes from despair. However. And that's all there is. Nothing much to it, is there? <sighs> but I guess that's the best you could do is complete Kirigiri failure. But any information about the mastermind is helpful, right? I appreciate what our, whatever info we can get our hands on. Correct. I see. That's a good outlook to have. Nice! Okay. I'm still thinking it has to tie, has to tie with the uh, Fenrir. Hmm. Jeez. So there's a hidden room she couldn't get into. That's what she meant by regret. I think we can assume that there must be some kind of clue waiting in there. Which way it's Akira. <laughs> Bust it down! I know, right? But maybe for her, there's more to it than that. Ooh. Let's go get the crazy diamond pickaxe! <laughs> anyway, if we want to get in there, we need to figure out the password. And if Kyoko can't figure it out, no way do I stand a chance. No, wait, there might be a chance. The password could be something Kyoko wouldn't have thought of, or something she didn't want to think of. For example, what about your name? What? Huh? Oh, sorry, I was just trying to think of what the password might be. Ah, because she's uh, estranged from her father, but he mm, might have been thinking of her. Yeah, she wants nothing to do with him, but that doesn't mean that he wasn't still thinking of her. Mm -hmm. I'm sure she hasn't tried it. I mean, it's totally understandable. After the way she talked about her dad, the idea that he would use her name as his password. Knowing how she is, I bet the idea never even occurred to her. Um, do you mind if I try it, just to be sure? 
Well, it's not like you need my permission. If you want to try it, try it. Do whatever you want. Uh, okay. All right. Let's okay. Let's... That's almost certainly gonna work. Yeah. You know, I'm glad I thought of trying Kyoko's name, but if that's not it, uh, that might just hurt Kyoko even more. Hey, if you're worried of me, about me, Makoto, don't be. I already know. I already know that your guess is wrong. Okay. In that case, here goes nothing. <laughs> Error. Too many, too many failed attempts. Lock out. <laughs> I collected myself, then turned to face the computer monitor. Let me just type the password here. I typed in her full name, Kyoko Kirigiri. My hands were tense, slightly trembling, and as I finished typing it in... Oh! Beep! We did it. Yeah! Suck it! What? Ultimate detective, get wrecked! <laughs> No, we got the ultimate lucky student here. Uh, I guess we did get lucky. <laughs> it was a shot in the dark. Yep. That did it? Kyoko, it worked! Why? Kyoko? Without looking at me, she disappeared into the hidden room. She looked grim. Kyoko! Alright! So I guess we're going in. Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel. Hey, Kyoko? I may as well not even have been in the room. Her gaze was fixed on only one thing. The present? The present or the picture. A present? Wrapped and covered with such joy. That's what made it so unusual. Hmm. Well, time to open that bad boy up! Right. There's a brightly colored box here. It seems totally out of place in here. Christmas came early. The more I look at it, the more suspicious I get. Let's open the damn box. Should we open it? I'm not getting a. I'm getting kind of a bad vibe from it. But I mean, we can't not open it. Agreed. Uh, okay. Makoto, be careful, Makoto. Why? Do you think it's dangerous? No, not dangerous. But surprising, probably. Huh? It would seem. If it is what I think it is. At the very least, it's not something you'll have, you'll be happy to see. Oh no! It's the entire discography of. Oh my god! It just it it. I had it in my brain and then it just went away. Okay, let's go. Uh, Nickelback. It's the the entire discography of Nickelback. <laughs> Wait. So you know what's in there? Anyway, just don't scream or anything, okay? Definitely the entire discography of Nickelback. Are you saying it's something that'll make me want to scream? Okay, I'm just gonna open it. Let's do it! Step by heavy step, I approach the box. Any, anyone got some scissors to cut this ribbon? I took a deep breath and took hold of the lid. I mean, it looks like the lid's gonna pop right off. Yeah. Uh, slowly, ever so slowly, I lifted it up. Light began to sneak its way into the box. I stole a hesitant glance inside and... <laughs> Kyoko's advice was no use. I let out a trembling cry. We found a head. Oh! No matter what? Look, it's your cousin! <laughs> what was in the box? It was bones. Human bones. From the rocket. From Yeah, rocket! It was the last thing I expected to find in such a bright, joyful box. I mean, who could have possibly imagined? Hmm. Just as I thought. What? Yes! Yes! Please tell me why you thought. Just as you thought? How could you have known that? I mean, there were bones in there! Human bones! Well, it's not that I was thinking of the bones specifically. I just... I had a feeling it would be his body. That's pretty much the same thing! A dead guy in a box! My father. Huh? What about him? Correct. What you found in the box. Those bones. That body. Them bones and bones and bones. That's my father. Or at least, what's left of him. Are you serious? This is Kyoko's dad? The same man she's been searching for? 
Hold on. How can you know that for sure? How do you know that's him? So, given all the information you have already, that's the only possible answer. Mm-hmm. Landed uh, that headmaster headmaster is a man in his late thirties. He's probably still in school. But ever since the killing game began, only the students have been here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the only yeah, the only way he could still be here, but only the students be here is, is, is dead. Oh, the ego said the mastermind is probably here in the school. Headmaster. Oh, headmaster. But the only ones who were alive at the start of the killing game were six students. When you put those two ideas together, it doesn't take much to assume in other words, that most likely my father was in the school, but he was also dead. That's my assumption, anyway. As Kyoko explained her analysis, she was completely calm. Or no, she wasn't calm. She was only trying to seem calm. She said it was just as she thought, so she knew it was a possibility. But I have to believe that at some point she wanted to be proven wrong. Well, yeah, who wants to go into a room thinking that their, that their dad is dead in a box? Which is why she never looked in the box herself, even though she had plenty of chances. I know Kyoko said she wanted to see her father so she could cut off all ties. But what... But was that all there was to it? Gave up some of the pride to come here, yep. Yeah. Would she really give up her pride just for that? I couldn't help but wonder. Nice! Hidden room present. <laughs> Not even trying to sugar. I'll talk to her in a second. Yeah. Huh? This picture no, I wasn't saying talk to her. I was saying oh. like it was it was it wasn't even trying to be blunt about it too. It's like present. <laughs> this picture. It's all faded. It must be pretty old. Oh, that's Aww. so sweet. Yep. Wait, is this a picture of... As far as her hair is concerned, she must have taken after her mother. Yeah. Hey, Kyoko. Ooh. Why would you? Well, this is annoying. I came here to cut myself free of the past, and yet... He still held on to you. To now find something like this. So what do you expect me to do now? Then I was right. It's a picture of Kyoko when she was a little girl. She looks so happy. Knowing the headmaster had this picture all the time, he must have really cared about her. And also, the password to the secret room is her name, so... What? I wanted to face him and tell myself to cut him out of my life for abandoning me. That's the whole reason I came here. And now he's abandoned me again. And this time, he was still the only opportunity I had to move on. Has there ever been a worse father? Yes. Yeah, yes. Funny. Uh, hun, uh, let me introduce you to my dad. <sighs> Photo, yeah, nice. Photo of Kyoko and Headmaster. Or your dad, too. Yeah, seriously. We both have... Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're not going to get into that. This filing cabinet seems like the kind of place you'd find a clue. I should take a closer look. But I don't think Kyoko would like some stranger like me oh, touching her dad's for stuff. For fuck's sake. So, let's just ask her, since she's in here. Hey, it's fine. Check whatever you want. Are you sure? Yeah. She's... M Makoto, you're the one who's reserved and modest about all this stuff. She's the one who's like, All right, let me now inspect the genitals of the dead body. Yep. I went through each drawer, one by one, starting from the top but all I found were piles and piles of unrelated documents. He was pretty dedicated to his job, huh? Well, it's just because he didn't have anything else. He could have inherited our family business, our legacy. Our legacy. Instead, he left it all behind. No. If, if he couldn't even handle a job like this, he would have been that much more of a failure. I'm sure he couldn't stand the thought of that, and it made him desperate. I think you're psychoanalyzing from a very biased perspective. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, well, let's look at everything. The headmaster's desk. It's probably hiding some kind of clue, so I really want to check it out, but I really don't want to oh, Okay, and hey. she's just gonna say, look yeah. around, don't do worry more. About me. Feel free to look around as much as you like. 
Are you sure? Because never let anything get in the way of the investigation. I don't. Uh, okay then, if you don't mind, please just, you could have just had like, look at any one thing, trigger that scene once, yeah. and then we're good to go from there. Huh? Is this? Oh, hey, we're going hey. now. Ooh! Yeah, I, it's an e-handbook, right? And it even has a label on it that says, in case of emergency. <laughs> in case I need to violate my students' pri uh, pri pri privacy. I mean, locker checks. I found some kind of emergency handbook in the headmaster's desk. In other words, a handbook with, li with no limitations given to the school's ultimate authority, the headmaster. I'm assuming that's what that is. I think you're probably right. It would seem... It might prove useful as we continue our investigation. Hell yeah! Let's check all those lockers! Yep. Why don't you hold on to it? Huh? But Kyoko... I... I don't need it. If you don't want it, go ahead and leave it here. Then I guess I'll take it. Is it really okay? Nice! Yeah. Kyoko, you are failing at your one job here right now because you are so emotionally compromised by this whole thing. Listen, Makoto? Huh? Can I ask you a favor? Reaction! A favor? What is it? So... I know it's completely unreasonable to ask you this. And I know it'll only inconvenience you that much more, but... Hey. Could you leave? Huh? Correct. Just for a little while. i just like to be alone for a bit. Fap sauce? <laughs> Read a room. I know! It's awful! <laughs> Toko sticks her head in. <laughs> Kyoko. Don't worry, I'm fine. I just need to calm down a little. Just I a second. Get my emotions in order. Yeah. You know, Kyoko, you told me before about the relationship you had with your dad. How you're only connected by blood, not by heart and soul. But... Maybe that picture motivated him. Maybe he hoped to see me again someday. Is that what you were going to say? Something like that. If so, it's just a theory. And this isn't an issue that can be settled with theories. That picture doesn't change the facts of what happened, what I went through. I... That problem can't be solved so easily. No one's suggesting that it is. You're right. I'm sorry. Anyway... Once I've got myself under control, I'll return to the investigation immediately. So please, just give me some time to myself. Absolutely. Okay, I understand. Then, I'll see you later. All right, let's put okay. some lockers. Yeah! Is she really okay? Kyoko, it must have been a complete shock to her. I mean, it was a shock to me. Blah! To find out what happened to the headmaster. Hi, guys! <laughs> There's no doubt the mastermind performed that evil deed. They killed the headmaster, killed Kyoko's father. They killed him. The headmaster is dead. Maybe I should reiterate one more time that they killed him and he's dead. The, the mastermind killed the headmaster, which yeah. is not the same as the mastermind, even though they sound similar. And it can be really confusing. Oh, okay, sure, we'll skip through while I'm making jokes. Yep. Which means that the mastermind's true identity is... Yes, yes, yes. One of the 16 yeah, students. Yeah, yeah. We got it. Thank you. We don't need to keep flashing back to things that happened 10 minutes ago. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 Only six of us are still alive. Everyone else is dead. Yeah, okay. Mm, no. no. Cares. <laughs> Going through every single dead body one by one, man. Even Mukuro. Blah. Even she's undeniably dead. There's undeniably. <laughs> so the ones still left alive are me, Byakuya, Hiro, Toko, Hina, and Kyoko. Only those six people are still alive. No! There's one more! Wait, no, that can't be! I refuse to believe it. There has to be some other way. There just has to be. Yep, it's got here. Damn straight, there's still another way. Because you counted a dead body twice. Yep. You just don't know it yet. Oh, an eye of raw. Where? 
Uh, look through the windows. Let's turn. No, 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 not. You're... There you oh, go. I see. Okay. Yeah. All right, so bust some lockers open. Bust some lockers. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we can't do the ones that are already busted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Use the e-handbooks. Let's give it a try. Yay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we took out our handbook. Oh. No. Maybe only the lockers. Wait, but <gasps> what about the emergency handbook I found in the headmaster's hidden room? Okay, let's give it one more try. Okay, now we can do okay. it. I took the emergency handbook and ran that across the card reader and... Beep! All right, just what I was hoping for. Now let's see what we've got inside. Ooh. This locker is totally disorganized. Oh. oh look, look at all, this, this is all spiritual stuff. Hero. Yeah. Hero. Who keeps failing out of stuff? Huh. Maybe. Oh, it better not be Hero. Whoever it belongs to probably has organization problems in every part of their life. This is a crystal ball. Huh? A crystal ball? No, it can't be. There's no way he ever used this locker. It's just not possible. Huh. There's all kinds of textbooks and notebooks stacked up in no particular order. And dust everywhere. I have to assume whoever's stuff this is didn't do a lot of studying. Not that I can really talk. I'm trying to act as casual and natural as possible. I picked up one of the notebooks I saw. It's all dick pics! <laughs> but the moment I looked inside the notebook, any sense of easiness I may have had evaporated. Yasuhiro Hagakure. Yeah. What? There was no denying what I saw. Inside the notebook was written Yasuhiro Hagakure. Is this our Yasuhiro? The notebook also contained a large number of notes for a variety of different classes. Which would mean... He attended classes here? I mean, he kept saying he flunked out. Well, he flunked out of other schools. That, oh, yeah. Okay. He was held back several times. And then he was finally scouted for this school mm -hmm. as the ultimate uh, clairvoyant. Unless that here is not who he says he is. That could be why his accuracy is terrible. So we're thinking a, a second case of body double? Yep. Possible. Interesting angle. But I should say that yeah, a 30% accuracy rate in predictions is still, like, really freaking good. Yeah. Considering the possibility is literally infinite. Mm -hmm. No, that can't be possible. I mean, Hero came to this school at the same time as the rest of us. And we were all sucked into this evil world. We never had the chance to take any classes. So, what is this notebook? Nice! Locker notebook has been added. Ooh. Uh, looks like there's one other thing. Is this a deck of playing cards? No, they're tarot cards! But wait, aren't those used for telling fortunes? Yep. Mm-hmm. It's just a coincidence, right? Okay, time to back out and check another locker! I'm wondering if all these lockers are our lockers. Uh-huh. Because it was implied that we had a, um... Our? Oh, our, yeah. Uh, this one right here. Yeah. Boop. Because it was implied we had what? Our memories left or something done to us. Ah, uh, yes. In, yeah, indeed. Mm -hmm. And the fact that there's pictures, there's of, pictures of everybody, of together. everybody together. Yep. Yeah, that suggests it. Yeah, yeah. Memory wipe is absolutely on the table. Mm -hmm. You said clones. Uh, yep. At this point, I don't think we've seen anything that could suggest clones as a possibility. I mean, the closest that would have been is the bio lab, and that's a morgue, not. Not uh, the no, no, not the bio lab. The other the other thing. Uh, anyway, um. Okay, what's it here? All right, what do we got inside? I don't see anything that might be a clue. All right, moving on. Took the emergency handbook, beep, it opened. Oh, just one thing. 
This thing is practically empty. What do we have? There's just one thing, some kind of pocketbook. I don't see a name written on it, so I can't say for sure whose it is. But there's some writing inside. It could be important. I don't like violating the owner's privacy, but I'd better take a look. It looks like a girl's handwriting. And all the letters are spaced out evenly, like whoever wrote them was measuring them. Whoever wrote this must have been really meticulous. Well, there's only one person that fits that criteria. Mm -hmm. I was flipping through the pocketbook, but my hand froze when I got to a certain page. I saw something familiar written there. Words I'd heard before. Oh, we got something big. <laughs> There's a plan to turn Host Peak, Host Peak shelter into a shelter and isolate students here in a communal life. I decided to talk to the one who came up with the plan directly. It just so happens to be the headmaster and my fa Oh, yep. Kyoko. Yep. And at some point she was aware that he wanted to lock the school down? Oh, snap. So, so, okay, so the headmaster, her father, really did lock the school down. Mm -hmm. Somehow, skipping ahead, it's become a big murder game mm -hmm. from the mastermind. Yeah. Okay. And, and Makoto's uh, fever dream had those words coming to him. I'm mm -hmm. supposed to stay here. I'm not supposed to leave. Yep. We're thinking that there's memory wipe stuff going on. The biggest tragedy of history one year ago, but nobody can can point to anything that would be the thing. Yeah. What if the headmaster uh, Want, wanted to contain the students in the school to protect them from something out there. Oh. That would actually explain a lot. And whatever was out there, there. got in and has flipped the flipped it upside flipped down. Script. Okay, yep. He was willing to give me more details regarding the plan. Here's what he said. The point is to keep our student prodigies safe, to keep them as our hope for the future. Only their genius can overcome disaster, and only their hope can overcome despair. For the future of our country, our world, it's not an exaggeration to call this our final hope. We must isolate our superior youth from the corrupted world to serve as the foundation for a new era. That is the only hope we have. I hope that you'll be willing to go along with this plan. So that's what my father had to say to me. As usual, he made a selfish decision without consulting anyone else. I can't imagine a worse father. Damn! And on that note, we have more lockers to look into, but I feel like that's the biggest bombshell we're gonna get from these. Probably, yeah. But there's still more to explore, more to investigate, in order to uncover the ultimate mystery behind this school and mm. the killing game we found ourselves in so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already leave a comment down below how accurate do you think my theory is how accurate do you think it is i think it's i mean actually if there's something else going on out there that would actually make the worst event in history make sense yes okay yeah <sighs> And the, uh, I, I, there's there's a lot to unpack. There's oh, yeah, a lot yeah, to unpack here. Definitely a lot to unpack. Oh, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. I can't wait to see what's actually going to be happening here in the rest. We got to dive back in, mm -hmm. open the other lockers, find out what's going on, which means that this mystery is coming to a close. We're going to find it, and we will give ourselves a great, big, hell yeah! yeah.